And I want to see this one. Nampa police wrangled in a different kind of suspect on the run. An animal normally found around bayous and swamps down south found under a camper, not in Nampa, Florida, but Nampa, Idaho. We first brought you the story last night on the news at 10 and now we're getting a look at new video and the 911 call from the encounter. Our Shira Matsuzawa brings us this wild story. Law enforcement. 911, what's the location of your emergency? They're trained to be prepared to deal with different types of situations. But what happened on Tuesday... Well, I've been on the force for quite a while and it definitely was a first. ...is something the Nampa Police Department wasn't expecting. We talked about... Went out one morning, or the other morning, and no, she wasn't in there. He was this six-foot-long alligator that goes by the name of Gomer. We were housing two of our bigger alligators together. Um... They must have gotten them into like a wrestling match or some kind of playtime thing. Or they must have popped a seam on their temporary enclosure. Tyler Messina is the owner and president of the rescue facility Idaho Reptiles. He says one alligator stayed where it was supposed to, while Gomer wandered off to a neighbor's house. That neighbor is Brent Springer. I'm a pharmacist. I'm like, I, I know how hallucinogenics work, and I certainly haven't taken any. And like, I took pictures just to verify that Am I, not, am I seeing something in the shadows? Brent was working on his house painting when he spotted the large creature under his travel trailer. And I look under there, look, and I'm like, what is this? I thought, it can't be an alligator. It has to be an iguana or something fake. But sure enough, it was an alligator. So we called 911. It's not a complete emergency, but I went around to my travel trailer is, and I noticed something under it. And I've taken pictures of it. I... I swear it's about a four foot long alligator. I mean, I this is the weirdest thing I've ever ever seen. I don't think anybody put up like something under it to prank me. Which is when Nampa Police Corporal Tana Merrick and three other officers arrived on scene. I almost didn't think that it was going to be real. And I also thought about the fact it could be a, a pool toy, like a pool floaty. To their surprise, Gomer the alligator was right where Brent said it was. It was definitely different. We kind of stood around and joked and just watched him because we were all in awe um, and then we just kept going back to the questions of what are we going to do with him um, and how are we going to catch him because we've never done this. Nampa police called Idaho Fish and Game and they got a hold of Tyler and together the group managed to get Gomer back home safely. An experience both Brent and Corporal Merrick will remember for years to come. It was just a fun experience and um, one of those that will definitely definitely go down in the memory book for my career. And Tyler tells me Gomer has been around people at different parties, birthday parties and fairs, so he thinks that helped him in this situation because he's so used to being around people and doesn't associate them with food. Meantime, I also spoke with Idaho Fish and Game, and in order to own an alligator, you have to have a special permit. They tell me in the valley alone, there are only three permit holders, one being Tyler. Mark.